Yo, what's up, everybody? Jumping here, and I am back with my noobs guy for Shakiro Shadows Die Twice. Alrighty, well, I'm at Fountainhead Palace. That's what we're going to be tackling here. This is a massive area with a lot of items. Hopefully, I don't miss any, but I might. And also, we're going to be patient here because there are some OP enemies, and we definitely got to watch out for them because we can be obliterated if we don't. Now, the first thing that you might try to do once you get here is to hop in the lake to go and explore. It's a massive lake over here. Don't do that. It's a trap. You will die. So, instead, let's actually go into this house. Now, this is going to be our first OP enemy. This guy is a Miss Noble, woman, whatever it is. But, we did fight this in the forest. Now it's going to have a status effect, and this status effect is brutal. It's almost as bad as terror, but what will happen is, whenever you have the status effect on you, you will lose almost all your health, you cannot resurrect, so if you die, that's it, you're dead, and you move at a snail's pace, so it's really, really bad. But the first three of them that we encounter, you can take out no problem, just sneak up on all of them, and you just one-shot them if you hit them with the sword. Now there is an item over here that we can go and grab real quick. So let's go and get this before I forget about it. It's going to be right here, so pick that up. Most of the items here are really not necessary. They're just minor things. But hopefully I will get all the items and show you guys how to get them. Now if we come over here, there is going to be some enemies on this roof that we can take out. It's going to be some archers. Now you want to go to the right here, and you can easily sneak up on this first guy. Just like run up behind him take him out now these other two though we will just actually attack they're archers they're weak we should be able to take them out in two hits so there you go now this other one we can sneak up behind him as well take him out two hits and let's loot the bodies now there is a guy down there with an item you can sneak up on him but we're going to use the invisibility that's really good in this area this entire area but let's try to sneak up on him if you don't actually get the stealth kill just fight him Main thing with these guys is Teabag of Doom. Teabag of Doom will wreck them. They have multiple combos where they'll hit you multiple times. And if you actually do the Teabag of Doom, you will destroy their posture. Now, if we come up here, there's going to be another archer that we can sneak up behind. So let's go and take him out. Now, this next part, I recommend being patient. If you're patient, you can stealth kill both these guys. But kind of look. And what we're waiting for here is for these two enemies to cross paths. Once they do that, we can go ahead and drop down and take them out with no problems. But if you do drop down early, you can definitely get one with a stealth kill. But then the other one you're going to have to probably fight. So, let's just wait. There is another one. You have to trust me on that. They're about to cross paths. Moment. There they are. Alright, so they're crossing now. We're going to wait about a second. Hop on down. Sneak behind the first one, get him. Now we can rush the second one and get him as well. Now there is an item over here, but this is kind of a trap. Because there's an enemy in the corner, so just rush the enemy, take it out. Now we can go and grab the item. And let's try to loot the body as well. There's going to be some dogs coming up. Now these are new dogs, they have lightning attacks, so watch out for that. But for the most part, you should be able to take them out if you rush them, if you firecracker them. It's really not that bad. But if they do shoot the lightning at you, try to jump to avoid it. Or you can even reverse it if you hit R1 while jumping. So let's go ahead and grab the item there. Hop on down. Take out the first dog. And now we should be able to rush the other dog. So just take that one out. Take that one out. And there you go. If you have to, you can always firecracker. So keep that in mind. So now there is a room over here. This is kind of a trap. So once again, take out the enemy first. Take out this dog. Take out this dog. And now we can rush this dog. There you go. Pretty easy. Once again, if you have to, you can always firecracker. It's going to be some more dogs up here. Same deal. We're going to rush. Take out the first dog. Take out the second dog. Two more dogs coming our way. Jump down. Firecracker. Now, I normally don't recommend death blowing the dogs, so if you can, try to just hit them and they'll die. But that's because there's going to be a lot of dogs and you don't want them to get unstunned. Over here, same deal. Rush. Use a firecracker. Try to not death blow if possible. So just go ahead and take them out. And if you do it like that, you should be able to get all of them. 
no problem. Now, for this next area, there is an item here, so pick that up. But there is an idol as well. But this next area is definitely potentially challenging. There's going to be a lot of Miss Nobles. And if they get that status effect on you, you'll probably die. There's other enemies as well. So you need to be patient and kind of do what I do here. But if you do, you shouldn't really have too many problems. Let's go ahead and go invisible. The first one is right here. So we can just chill for a second. Rush it. Take it out. Now, if you want to talk to the NPC, you can. But we're going to go over here, pick up the item. Now we are going to come over this way, take this enemy out. You don't have to get backstabs on him, you just smack him. Take that one out. There is an enemy in here that we can backstab, so let's just get behind him, take him out. There is a Miss Noble in front of us, so let's rush that, take it out. And now we can go and get the items that are over here. First item is right here, and we can just kind of head back real quick pick up all the loot thank you very much and now we can pick up this item and there is an item that was off to the corner over here and there's also some spirit emblems if you want to pick that up also give me the loot thank you very much awesome now one thing you can do against the guys with the swords is you can actually hit them with a firecracker and then mortal draw them if you do that that will just destroy them so I'm going to show you that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to rush the Miss Noble, take it out, Firecracker, and now Mortal Draw. And as you can see, that absolutely destroyed them. And yeah, it's a really easy way. You can go ahead and grapple up top here and kind of sneak up behind this enemy that's here and take this thing out. And there is an item in here, so let's pick up the item. And now... What we're going to do is first, let's go get this other item that we missed. So let's go pick that up. Thank you very much. And we are going to go invisible. Going invisible is like so good for this part. Now we're going to take out these Mist Nobles over here first. And we're going to actually try to lure these enemies out into the open. If we do that, we can actually have an easier time taking them out. So sneak up behind this one. Now we do want to be seen by this one enemy. We primarily want to get this guy with the spear to come outside. So if he sees us, he will walk outside. So we're just going to hide and chill. And we're waiting for the opportunity to backstab him. He's the important one because he's actually kind of stronger. Well, actually, he's a lot stronger, to be quite honest. Okay, this stupid thing is in my way. So I need to avoid that damn thing. Let's get behind him now. Take him out. This other guy's coming out here, too. The Miss Nobles in the red shirts aren't really that bad. They will try to actually grab you and stuff, so you do have to watch out for them. But, as you can see, I can kind of just chill over here and it's fine. Alright. I'm definitely trying to get a stealth kill if possible. So, let's sneak up behind this guy now. Take him out. And now we can take out the stupid Noble. And there you go. That part's a lot easier if you can get that guy to come outside. You can also throw a shard at him as well to get him to come outside, so that is something that you can do. Now let's pick up the item, and there's also going to be a chest in here that we can get this item as well, so let's grab that. Thank you very much. And now there is a little bit of a secret area here, and we will be going down there. But you do want to make sure that you are invisible before you do this, otherwise the enemies will see you. It's right here, and you know you're in the right spot because across from you are those enemies. And just go ahead and dive under, head towards the items, and just resurface. Hop on up. Come on. There we go. Grab the items. It's a bunch of treasure carp scales in here. And we will be using those in this episode, so that's really cool. Let's go ahead and open the chest. Now, this is an item that's meant for an NPC. It's actually going to be back in the village. I did talk about this. But if you give this NPC this item, you can actually get some treasure carp scales, so that's really cool. All right, so we are not invisible. That's not good. Let's actually make sure that we are invisible because if you resurface, you will be seen right there by the enemies. Now this part, there is an idol coming up and there is a guy with the spear again. So he's a lot more OP than the other dudes. So honestly, I think it's best just to run for it here. I hate jumping out of the water. So what we're gonna do is kind of just sneak up behind this guy right here, take him out. Oh, watch out. I used the firecracker there to try to stun that guy and take that one out, rush the idol, 
And hopefully you should be able to rest before he will catch you. And if you are, then you're pretty much good. If he does catch you though, you might have to fight him over here. But the most important thing is to get the idol. That way if you die, you don't have to worry about running through that area again. Now coming up over here is going to be a mini boss. Now we're going to pick this item up right here. And now we can actually grapple up top. Once again, we want to make sure that we are invisible for this. So I'm going to use another one just because why not? I mean, that's so OP being able to spam that. I'm sorry. It's so good. Crouch down. And we're going to take out these archers because these archers can hit us while we're fighting the mini boss. So let's take them out first. And this guy has a spear. So just get him first. Now you should be able to sneak up on all of these archers. One of them might actually catch you though. So get this guy. It's gonna be this dude. If you sneak to the side here, he might not see you. Oh, he's seen me. He might, he might not, it just depends. But watch out for him. Just block him if you can whenever he tries to shoot you and just smack him like crazy. Okay, he is absolutely destroying me right now. Come on, bro. Ow! God, yeah, they're annoying. Oh, oh God. This is bad, man. Okay, well, he's got his sword now. Oh, my God. He keeps doing the same thing. He didn't even give me the proc right there. Well, we got him. That was a disaster right there. I kind of want to redo that. I think I will, actually. Just because I know you can sneak up on that guy. But I think I know what I did wrong there. I want to make sure that you guys don't have that same issue there. Because you definitely don't want to have that happen where you get absolutely clobbered by that guy. The archers are annoying, as you can see, because they constantly jump. You know, to be honest, though, you could probably do the mid-air death blow on them, now that I think about it. Hmm. I didn't even think about that before, but yeah, you definitely can probably do that. But let's go ahead and use this again. We're going to try this again, because I think I know what I did wrong there. So this first guy, you should be able to sneak up behind him without even having to crouch. So let's get him real quick second guy same deal i mean to be honest what would be safer in fact i know this is going to be safer so what you should actually do is just come over here yes definitely come over here and now easily get behind this guy to take him out so we just learned something new but that's what you have to do sometimes you have to adapt all right so this mini boss is another bull enemy oh god you know i hate the bulls they are stupid annoying Main thing with this guy, of course, is get the butt. You want the butt. And you can also buff up for this. But firecrackers are great, but you can only use them every like 15 seconds. Just try to stay on them. And in fact, I would definitely recommend trying to maybe be unlocked if possible. That is something that will be great for this. So let's go ahead and buff up. I'm going to use a confetti here as well. I'm not sure if he's weak to confetti or not. But he's kind of like, he looks like he's a ghost bull oh wow he got really far away from me i didn't expect that you would think you could maybe death blow him but you can't so that's a shame all right so just smack away try to avoid the head of course get the butt whenever he runs like that you can rush behind him pretty easily but normally i try to firecracker him if you can now just get the butt and dodge whenever he attacks with his head to try to stay on his butt all right, now when he's doing that, he's running around to try to rush him. Oh my god. It's kind of annoying being unlocked with this because he moves so freaking fast. But it's definitely your best option to not actually get obliterated by his head. Now once a lot of time has went by, you can just kind of run from him and wait for the firecracker timer to cool down. And you should be able to stun him. And once you do that, as you can see... He's going to try to actually just attack you for a while afterwards. And then he's going to go back to his whole I'm going to charge you thing. As long as you're right up on him though. Should be able to just keep smacking him. Once he gets weak enough. He will just actually kill himself by running his head into the wall. So that is something. Alright. I'm going to try to firecracker here. There we go. Got him. Now we're going to rush him. Try to get to his butt. Remember. Get the butt! It's all about that butt, boys. Alright. And he should be almost done here. There he goes. Whenever he does that, he's going to kill himself. He's going to just roam around until he hits his head. Or not. Okay. That's weird. Alright. Oh, man. There we go. Firecracker. Come on, man. You know you want to go kill yourself and actually die this time? That would be nice. 
Okay, I'm in trouble here now. I'm just gonna chill over here. I'm waiting for the firecracker cooldown at this point. Whoa! I did not expect that to hit me. I don't even know how it hit me. I'm healing. Alright. Hit him with the firecracker again. That's some BS, dude. He should have killed himself, but I guess he was too far from the wall. There he goes. Now he actually hit the wall, and he is done. Just gotta get the death blow on him. And there you go. But as you can see, it's the same deal with the Blazing Bull. Just get the butt, and you should be good. And hope that that doesn't happen to you where he won't actually kill himself. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up this item here. Also, we did get a new technique. Mainly, now we can hold 17 Spirit Emblems instead of 16. And the max is 20 on that, by the way. So pick up all the items over here. But now, what we are going to go and do real quick is we are going to leave this area and we're going to go back to the estate because there is an NPC called the Pot Noble and we do need to talk to him because there is a storyline in this area with a giant cart. And to do that storyline, you do need to talk to the Pot Noble. So that's what we're going to go and do. But also at the estate, there are some treasure carts that I haven't got yet. But we are going to go to the very first area and we are going to go and talk to the Pot Noble. Alrighty guys, well, we are back at the estate, so we are going to just hop on down, and we are going to make our way to the water. That's what we're aiming for here. There's going to be some treasure carps in this water that we still need to get, so let's dive underneath. And there should be one coming up over here, so just watch out, get ready for it. There he is. Lock onto him, and... Oh, I didn't get him. There we go, we got him now. There's going to be another one that's going to be over this direction, so just come on over, get ready, lock on, and rush them, and we got them. I'm pretty sure there's only two in this water, and I think there's one more that we didn't get yet in another set of water, but I don't know, there might be more. But go ahead and talk to the Pot Noble. I haven't actually talked to this guy at all. In fact, in my episode where I was in this area, I think that was episode one. I forgot to even mention this guy. Now, you want to spend at least seven scales. So the most important thing to get is actually the mask fragment. So that's what we're going to grab. And also, he does have a text. Now, this is a technique that you can use a combat art. I don't really like it, so I don't really know if I'm going to buy it or not. But you want to save some of your scales for later. But in the Fountainhead area, you're going to get so many scales. It's kind of like ridiculous. So you can go ahead and buy this. And it's up to you if you want to buy the technique or not. I think I won't. But once you have spent seven scales, let's go ahead and talk to him. And he's going to give us an item. I have to talk to him a couple times. But he's going to give us the truly precious bait. And that's what we need for this little storyline at Fountainhead. Now I guess we can go and get this other treasure carp that I missed. Or, well, I didn't miss it. I just didn't ever come back here to get it, basically. Once I had the ability to dive underneath the water. And like I said, I'm not sure if there's more treasure carps or not, but I do know there's at least one more. But you guys can tell me if I'm incorrect about that and there are other ones I'm missing. But let's go ahead and run past all the enemies here. And the water where I think there, there could be one, but I don't think there is one, is actually coming up. So once we run past these guys. So there's some water down there and I don't think there's one in there. Could be wrong on that, but I know there's a lot of normal carps in there. I just don't know if there's a treasure carp in there. But this other water coming up over here is actually the same water, to be honest. But it is separated with a barricade. So this water over here is going to have a treasure carp in it. So let's go ahead and dive into the water. And he should be right here. There he is. Let's go and rush him now and try to get him before he disappears. And there you go. So now we are done with that and we can go ahead and make our way back to Fountainhead and we can continue going forward. Alrighty guys, well we are back and the first thing that's going to happen when we go to this new area is we are going to be frightened by the giant carp. Oh my god. But we already have the thing we need to kill it. So that is something. We got the true precious bait. Now, let's go ahead and head on over here. Now, for this area, of course, using invisibility will be nice. One of the new enemies we're about to see is going to be the kickball guy. 
These guys cannot defend themselves at all, so that is kind of good. But they can be annoying at range, especially. But let's take him out. Now we can fight this other one here. Let him attack us, and that's fine because we are just going teabag and doom. Take him out, no problem. Now, let's go ahead and hop down over here to the left. And there will be an item right here that we can pick up. So let's pick that up. And also, there's an item over here. And there's also a dog down here that we really don't need to mess with right now. But he will be, like, right over there. But let's actually take the opportunity to use our invisibility and actually sneak up on this guy in front of us. There's going to be a kickball guy in front of us. So we can just kind of go around here. Hop over here. Hop on up. And let's actually sneak up behind this guy right now there's also another one on that roof right there now you don't have to take this guy out but you can pretty easily so let's just get on the roof or fall down which is fine we don't need to worry about going invisible but we can actually hop up to the top of the roof from over here and now we can just sneak up behind this dude let's get up behind him there we go get him with the stealth kill there is an item over there but don't worry about that right now we will be getting that though in a moment Let's go ahead and hop on over here. Now, we do want to be invisible, so let's go ahead and become invisible for this. And we will go ahead and grapple up to the top here. There's two enemies up here. Let's take out the guy with the sword. He's the more important one because he's a little bit tougher than the guy with the bow. Take him out. The guy with the bow has seen us, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and rush him. Two hits should do it with this guy. There we go. Got him. No problem. And something's seen us there. I don't know what that is. Probably the dog. Now we can sneak up behind the kickball guys, and I'm pretty sure you can get both these guys, no problem. Then again, maybe you won't be able to, but the kickball guys cannot defend themselves, remember that? So just smack away, and should be uh, no problem. R1 spam works like magic there. Now there's going to be some more enemies across from us, but I'm trying to think, how do I want to tackle those enemies? I guess we could actually hop down to the water. There's going to be a lot of dogs down here, though, but some items. So just get ready for the dogs, but let's go ahead and hop down. Okay, here comes the doggies. Wow! Did not want to get shocked, and I am aiming at the wrong spot. Watch out for the dog. Let's just teabag and doom him. No! I didn't want to do that. Whatever. That can happen, though. There is an item over here that we can grab. And also, we can go ahead and take out the rest of the dogs. A firecracker over here would be a good idea, though. There's going to be three dogs, so take out one, take out the other one. Now we can just take out the third one, and there we go. We got all of them. Didn't have to use firecracker, but you might want to. There's some items there. Now we can just kind of run back. I don't know if there's any other items down here. I hope I don't miss any. There is a dog there, though. Let's get behind this dog. Take him out. Something's seen me. I don't know what it was. What seen me? Oh, it's these enemies. Okay. Did not want to be seen by them. This is why you want to be invisible. But by just running away, we should be able to pretty much de-aggro them. No problem. Okay. I'm just kind of grappling up. Okay. Now, let's go and get those guys now. There are a lot of enemies over there, though. So, we do want to be careful. Okay. Let's go ahead and hop on up. And the thing about that little area over there, I'm not exactly sure what's the purpose of actually going over there, to be quite honest with you. I don't know if you really have to. Because you'll see, I'm not sure if there's even an item over there. But we can actually go ahead and sneak up behind these two guys. The smoke screen here might be a good idea. Because we do want to get the guys with the spears, like, for sure. We don't really want to fight these guys. And with the smoke screen, we can easily get behind both of them. Now, up here, there's going to be a guy with a spear and a kickball guy. So, you definitely might want to take out the guy with the spear. I'm going to actually take out the kickball guy real quick. Now, the guy with the spear, I should be able to get him too. Although, he's kind of in a bad position. There we go. That's all you have to do. Pretty easy. And there's another guy with a sword. We can sneak up behind him as well. Take him out. And I believe there's a couple more guys somewhere around here oh yeah there they are they're down there so if you want to take them out once again this is completely optional if you want to fight these guys or not you can just ignore them to be quite honest but let's take them out just because why not 
And now we just attack this guy. He's got a sword, so it shouldn't be really too hard to deal with. Just teabag doom, and there you go. Now that's going to be most of all the enemies here for now. But there will be some more coming up where another mini boss is. There's actually two mini bosses in this area. One is pretty easy. You just really need to R1 spam against this one. That's it. It's one of the easiest bosses in the entire game. And then the other one is going to be a little bit more difficult. It's going to be one of the guys that will teleport like crazy. There is a dog over there, but we don't need to really worry about that dog right now. Let's go ahead and grapple up top. Now, you do want to go invisible once again. Let's do that. And there is a door here, but we can open that later. We can actually just run down over here. Now, here comes the enemies. Let's go ahead and sneak. Definitely want to take out the dude with the sword. Okay, or he'll see us. That's fine. Try to avoid the guy with the bow. Go and take him out right away because he can be annoying. We don't really want to deal with him. And this guy at the same time. So, where I'm at right now is actually kind of a good place. Alright, so let's take him out. Now we can deal with the guy with the bow. Just block him, rush him, and take him out. But yeah, you should be able to actually get a stealth kill on them. But I kind of messed that up. Now from up here, there's actually an item. Let me grab that first before I forget it. It's going to be over here. So make sure not to miss this. So go and grab this. It's nothing important, of course. But we can actually drop down. There's going to be two enemies down here. And let's go ahead and take them both out. They're archers though, so they should be easy to actually deal with. So just two hits should do it. Now with this other one, same deal. Just make sure he doesn't shoot you. And there you go. Take him out. Now coming up over here, there's going to be several enemies. One thing you might want to do, just in general, is you might want to use your Tonto a little bit. Just because you don't want to run out of spirit emblems. But you can actually use your smoke screen here really well. There's multiple guys. We definitely want to get the ones with the spear, though. That's the first target for sure. So get that guy. Use the smoke screen. Come up behind this guy. Take him out. We can do it again. Why not? And now we can come up behind another one. Okay. Now at this point, we can honestly just kind of like run away and let this one come after us. Both of them will chase us. But one guy, I'm pretty sure this guy, is not really going to be aggressive. He's going to try to avoid us. I don't know what that's about. Alright, but yeah, I'm just trying to like get this guy by himself. Whoa, lightning! I was able to reverse it, which was beautiful. I'm trying to hit the other guy. There we go. Take him out. That's the only attack this guy is going to do is lightning, though. I don't... I actually, no, he's attacking. I'm not used to this guy ever attacking. Whoa! All right, man, I am like being a reverse god right now. But that is one of those deals. If you really want to make that part easier, if you're afraid about the guy with the lightning, what you can do is you can run away and then just jump down, honestly, and come back. And then you should be able to sneak up behind these guys again. So that is an option. But I was trying to really separate them, but that didn't really work out for me. Now, there is an idol over here that we can rest at. But I'm not going to because I don't want the enemies to come back. At least, not yet. So instead, I'm going to go and fight the mini boss right now. The main thing with this mini boss you have to watch out for is the initial lightning. That's it. So if you can avoid the lightning or reverse it, that's absolutely something you want to do. And then once you get close to this guy, just R1 spam and it's GG. Even if he hits you with the lightning, it's really not a big deal. So just rush him and try to avoid getting hit by lightning. And don't jump off! Okay, and now I'm screwed. Okay, I'm completely screwed. We have to use the idol, otherwise we're going to die. So, let me try that again. Alrighty, well, here's the deal. Remember, you don't want to be in the lake. Because if you're in the lake, you're going to die. And the reason why is because of this guy. You have to kill this guy so you will not die in the lake. It kind of threw me off there. He normally starts by actually... Trying to hit you with lightning. I don't know why he didn't there. But once you get on him though. He can't defend himself. And there you go. Really easy. But yeah that's really really weird. The main thing like I said. Watch out for that lightning. That lightning will destroy you. But he normally will always shoot some lightning at you first. I don't know why he wasn't there. That's so weird and odd to me. That it kind of threw me off. And that's why I kind of jumped off into the water. Alright so. 
at this point now we can actually go and explore the water so that's really cool but there's also another mini boss that is in this area but we now have four prayer beats so once again i'm gonna have to cut this because i am going to just get back to the idol i don't think i can grapple back from here and i definitely don't want to run back to the idol so i'm just going to use this and i am going to make my way over to the idol Alrighty guys, well, let's go ahead and upgrade our health now, and this is going to give us the ninth necklace, meaning that there's only four more prayer beads, and we are done, we will have maximum health. Now there is another mini boss, I brought this up before, if you want to get to it, just jump down from up here, if you run and jump, you shouldn't take any fall damage, and watch out, those enemies can see you, but they won't be able to hit you. There's some dogs over here, so just smack them, and smack them, and there you go. Now we can pick up the items. All right, there's another item over here. And there's gonna be some dogs over here. If you're gonna fight this mini boss, definitely try to come from this angle. That way you can take care of these dogs. Otherwise they can actually interfere with this fight, which is annoying. Now let's prepare for this mini boss. Let's put the umbrella on. We can also put on the purple gourd as well to get some terror resistance. And if we need to get rid of terror, we can go ahead and drink this and let's go ahead and buff up now you might want to use the tanto if you feel like you're going to use the umbrella a lot the tanto might be good here i'm gonna buff up with that just because why not and i will also use a confetti now one thing i wanted to mention is that with that update you can now actually buy confetti from the merchant and it's unlimited so that's really cool same with snap seeds and that's good because there's some boss battles that if you don't have snap seeds they're a lot harder but now you can just buy them from the merchants that is great also i did forget about the pot noble so we will actually go and talk to him but we're going to do that in a little bit here because there's a shortcut we can open and once i open the shortcut we'll go and talk to the pot noble all right so the way we're going to fight this guy is the same way we always fight him we're going to rush him we're going to attack him we're going to break him then we're going to teabag doom them and we can continue to attack them you can maybe mid-air death blow them as well but we will see so here comes the attacks teabag doom now we attack him he's gonna block us now you see that indicator there watch out that's a dog up there if it sees you it might shoot lightning now this is actually really easy to get behind him i definitely think that this is one of the easiest fights with this guy just because it's so easy to get behind him here. But let's go ahead and attack him now. Finish him off. And now he's going to disappear, of course. And we're going to rush him. So rush to the other side. And here he is. Once again, wait for the laser. And it's easy to dodge behind it. Now we can attack him. Whoa. Try to break him. He's going to now get away from us. Now, at this point, I'm going to use another confetti. If you want to, you can. If not, you can just use the umbrella. But using the confetti, we might want to go ahead and use the shield here just to block this. Because it's going to be hard to get behind him. Whoa, watch out. All right, now we can attack him. Try to break him. There we go. Now he's going to attack us. We're going to teabag a doom. He's going to block us. Now we can rush him again. It's a lot of this back and forth, back and forth, but it's easy because it's so easy to dodge the laser here. So get behind him, attack him, try to break him, and we should be able to finish him off here. And of course, one more time, we're going to have to rush him, but we can just smack him right away. So let's just go ahead and smack him and finish him off. There we go. Now he's going to drop an upgrade material, and this is a material you need to get a lot of the final prosthetic tool stuff so that is really nice there's also an item over here that we can grab so let's go and pick this up now it's time to jump into the lake and i've been dreading the lake and the reason why is because it's so big it's so massive there's so many items so many treasure carps it's freaking annoying i'm gonna try to show you everything but i might miss something so i apologize if i do you guys can point it out in the comments if you like but this treasure carp we're gonna try to rush him and he's gonna get away that's a big part of this, is these stupid carps getting away from you. So what I recommend is just let them respawn and try to like find the angle so they won't see you right away when they spawn and then just attack them immediately when they spawn. All right, yeah, there you go, like that. And you should be able to get them, but you just have to find the right angle. So right there, that's some precious bait. 
know what's weird about that? They give you like a ton of that, but you really only need two of those. And you'll see why in a moment. Let's go ahead and swim over here. And oh my god, it's a giant carp. Not good. There is an item in here. Now this is where we do need to go eventually. So keep this in mind. It's a giant like hole here. Now there is an item. We will not go there yet because there's no point. There's a lot to do in this lake. So we're going to try to do most of everything. Kind of look around though. I'm just going to double check. I am not an expert on all the items. But there are some items here. It's going to be a bunch of scales. And there are going to be some treasure carps over here as well. Let me try to find them. I think we have to go this way. Okay, am I stuck? I'm stuck! Alright, well let's go around then. Here's one treasure carp. Okay, he sees us and he's getting away. Yeah! Okay, they're both getting away. Very annoying. But we can camp the spawn and hope for the best. Let's see what happens. Remember, the goal here is to try to see where they are spawning okay he sees me on spawn that's never good see if he can get away like that oh i can get him okay never mind but if they can get away like that they're probably going to get away because they are fast it's really hard to keep up with them you want them to hit a wall if possible to slow them down whoa hello okay i see where you're spawning now okay you're definitely getting away from me all right we're gonna chill like right here i think this is where he's spawning i hope he won't see me but he probably will but if he does, we can try to figure out where is he looking when he spawns. Okay, I kind of know now, but we got him. So, like, if you could figure that out, like, when he spawned, he was kind of looking at us. So, I think, like, right here would be a good spot maybe to wait for him. And then he won't see right away. You can just attack him. That's kind of the goal here. But the reason I'm dreading this, and I've been dreading this, is because I know that this is just annoying. All right, let's go ahead and make a big circle here. And in fact, let me surface real quick. There is an item that you can actually get. I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. Okay, I'm close to where I want to be. It's going to be over here somewhere. All right, so here's a treasure carp right here. Let's try to rush them. There's probably two in this area, and that one's definitely getting away from us. The other one probably did as well. So let's just try to chill. I don't know if there's one or two here. I want to say there's two. Almost every one of these spots have two of them. Okay, yeah, there's two of them. All right, that one's going to get away. Try to rush this one. Ugh, no, 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 no. Of course. All right. So we're just going to wait like right here for this one. Try to get him. I think this is a good angle. Okay, that other one's going to see us, but I don't care about that one. There we go. Okay, that's not a good angle, but we got him, so it doesn't matter. All right, try to rush this guy. He's going to hit the wall probably. Ugh, nope, he didn't. All right, so... This is definitely a good spot, though, like right here. I don't think he sees us right away. So we're just going to wait for him to respawn at this point. And just chill. There he is. Okay, that time he's seen me right away. Okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, get him. Got him. Awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and keep going this way. Try to find the items that are all around. But there is an item where you kind of need to surface for this item. I'll try to show you where that's at. There's a bunch of normal carps over here. I think the item is right here. Yes, it is. Okay, watch out, though, if you surface. These other enemies can see you and destroy you. So try to get back underneath water right away. Now we're going to swim over here. I'm kind of ignoring the normal carps. There's really no point to bother with them unless they get on you and they try to kill you. Get that item there. Swim over here. There's going to be some more items over here. I know this for a fact. Let's pick these up now. Thank you very much. Now we can go ahead and keep swimming. There's going to be some more treasure carps coming up, but these ones are the worst. They are so bad. But let's actually swim over this way and kind of see where we are. I think this is going to be a full circle at this point, though. Let me check. I think it is. Yes, that is a full circle. So let's try to get these other carps. They're going to be like down here. And you might see them. Yep, there they are. Let's try to lock on and just rush this group right here. All right, whatever. Ugh! Stupid normal carps got in the way, bro. All right, take them out. Watch out for the rest of the carps. I'm going to take these guys out right now. There we go. Get some XP. Not much, but, you know, I'll take it. Whatever. Oh, hello, treasure carp. Ah, I can't see you. 
There we go. All right, do not follow him down there. He will take you down to the headless fight. You do not want that fight right this moment while there's still treasure carps roaming around. Oh my god, just die. All right, where is... I don't know where the spawn is, so I'm gonna have to figure this out. All right, there's one. Ugh. You're so annoying, bruh. So annoying. Let's chill, like, about right here, maybe. I'm gonna try to just get this one first. Okay. See, it would be nice to see the spawn of the other one. Oh, oh crap. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, my God. Like, I was kind of looking in the wrong spot. Oh, I almost got him. Yeah, guys, this is annoying. I'm just saying. Oh, hello. I'm not gonna get you either. Yep, no way. <sighs> so annoying. I hate this spot. This is the worst. Because it's they're so quick. So freaking quick. Okay, I kind of see, like, where to stand now, but I should be able to get that one. But, you know, that is the goal here, is to try to figure out where they won't see you right away, you know? This one's definitely going to get away. Okay, so I say maybe about here would be good. Now, you can kind of stand right next to the spawn, but if you're right up on where they're going to spawn, they're not going to spawn. That is something, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, if they hit the wall, though, that's great for us. And there we go. I'm pretty sure that's all the carps. I could be wrong, but I think that might be all the treasure carps. Now we can go underneath. Now, this part is going to be annoying. There is no doubt about that. Pretty much, there's going to be a headless fight down here. It's going to be an underwater headless fight. So it's a lot easier than the normal headless fight. There is an item down here. But you do need to be careful because it's very easy for you to die on this part. And there's going to be a second headless. There's two of them, actually. One is just like a ghost of a headless. And I just recommend taking out the normal headless and just being done with it. You should be able to do a lot of damage to it. It shouldn't really be all that bad. But you do want to just keep moving. That's the key with this, okay? Just keep moving and try to attack when you get an opening. All right, so there's an item over here as well. So we're just picking up the items as we go down. But I am going to use one of these to get some resistance. And I'm going to heal because I want to have full health for this. But there he is. So watch out. He's shooting at us. All right, the main thing is I hate the one annoying attack, which is that. That is the annoying attack. You just want to swim around. There's the other headless on the other side if you can see them. But... I recommend just swimming around against this because you really don't want to get hit by that. If you go in for an attack, it will hit you. Watch out for the grab. This is a great time to get damage, but the stupid crap. I hate that crap so much. All right, I'm going to heal now. And yeah, see, do not even attack him when he's doing that. Like, when those things are out, don't even bother. You can die so quick to those stupid things. I don't even know what to call them, honestly. But they track you like crazy. But you can do a lot of damage to him. See, this is great times to get freaking damage on him when he goes for that. His grab is the big one. There we go. Just avoid the grab distance. And now you can just attack him. Now get away. Now, when he's done spinning, you can actually get in there and do an attack. Whoa! Okay, watch out. More crap coming in. So just avoid that. Anytime he does that attack, you can normally attack him, but... So watch out for that stupid crap, because that's what's risky here. You could see it yourself. It almost killed me by me actually going in there for an attack at the wrong time. Okay, see, any time that you go in like that, if those things are out, they will hit you. There's just no doubt about it. Problem is, the other one wants to keep shooting them out. A couple more hits and this thing's going to die. So let's just wait here for the right opportunity. Honestly, he's just, like, not doing anything. All right, there we go. Avoid the grab, get some damage on him, just spam at this point, and we should be able to take him out, no problem. And there you go. Now that is going to drop that item, which is the thing that will half our health, but it will give us a much better damage bonus, and now we can use that as much as we want, which is great. One of the differences, though, is I'm pretty sure the duration is shorter, but then again with this patch, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe they actually upped it. It's hard to say. But now, let's go ahead and come down here, and we can go ahead and grab these. More treasure carp scales. And also, we can open up this, and this is going to be a prayer beads. Now, we only need three more. Yeah, buddy. Okay, 
At this point, we need to now go back to that giant hole in the wall where we've seen the giant carp. And first thing, of course, is to get out of this trench. So let's just swim up and try to find our way back. It's very confusing. This area is so massive, it can really confuse you. Let's not go there. That's not the right way. It's definitely going to be over here. Pretty sure it's behind, like, these buildings. So let's just go ahead and keep swimming. I believe it's over here. I, nah, that's a surface. Oh, it's definitely over this way. Okay. So it should be, like yeah over here and just keep going now the key to this first of all make sure you have full health that is really important this guy will not be able to one shot us if we have a lot of health like i do and you should as well but if you do not have full health he can kill you he does a lot of damage now technically this guy is counted as a boss and i don't know why it's just like the great serpent you shouldn't count these as bosses but just stay behind him in the beginning here and just kind of chill behind him. Now, the main thing is try to get to this house or hut, or whatever this is, and just chill in here for a moment. And then we're going to rush to the other side. So now we can rush. So just rush like crazy. And what we're going for is this hole in the wall here. Try not to get hit. All right. Hurrah! There we go. And now we can go ahead and surface. And we don't have to worry about him anymore because we can make him actually our friend by feeding him or we can kill him if we give him the truly precious bait which we got earlier so yeah go ahead and grapple up here i don't think there's any items in this area exactly i just want to double check because i don't really remember i'll be honest but i don't think there is so let's just forget it for now go ahead and grapple up here there is an idol up here, so let's go ahead and rest at it just to reset. Why not? And there's going to be some enemies in here, but these enemies are a joke, so it's not really a big deal. We can just take them all out. Why not? Okay. Just pretty much one hit will do it. Don't even bother doing the death blow. You don't really need to worry about that. And boom. There you go. Now this chest right here, this is going to have a gourd seed in it, so this will be our final gourd seed, and now we can have 10 healing gourds, which is epic. Pick up the loot. Now this is the shortcut right here, so we can actually go and talk to the pot noble now. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me put on the shuriken, because there are going to be some of these lizard guys, so you might want to take them out. And for this part... Don't just jump off right away. Try to get to the edge here and aim for that cave. This is kind of a secret, I guess, but jump and grapple. There you go. Now we can take out this thing, run over here, take this one out, watch out. Just go ahead and take these things out. And there you go. Pretty sure that's all of them. Now we can just jump down here and grapple. There's going to be an item over here. We've seen it earlier. That's kind of your clue that there's something over here. And there's also going to be the pot noble. So we can talk to him. Let's go ahead and grab this item. Oh, there's an item up there. Okay. I must have missed that, but it's fine. I knew I was going to miss something, but we can actually go and get that now. So we can now go ahead and talk to this guy. He's going to sell some pretty good stuff, so we do want to buy some of it. We have 23. Is that enough? I think we're one off. That's awful, man. Let's go ahead and buy that. Yeah, we're one off. Oh, uh, man, that's that's a bummer. But I think at this point we can talk to him. Now, I'm really not sure if it matters which one of these truly precious baits you actually use. But if you listen to his secret, he's going to give you another one. And when you do actually use this item, it will say, like, do you want to use this one or do you want to use the other one? I don't know if it actually makes a difference or not. But let's go ahead and now get out of here and we can use this idol. And at this point, I think the best thing for us to do is probably just to travel back to this other area. So let me see. Is that it? Just kind of looking. I think this is it. So we're going to travel back here. And now we can actually go and interact with the Great Carp. Alrighty. Well, we are back. And now, if you come over here, 
they're all dead and this lady is stabbing them. You can talk to her. I'm pretty sure this is that NPC from earlier. Her main thing is, is something about her father, which you'll see in a moment. You can actually meet her father, but he kind of turned into a monster and she's like upset, I guess. Now there is an item over here that we can grab, so just go ahead and hop down and we can grab it. It's like right underneath this waterfall. Let's pick this up. Now we can go ahead and jump up and hold up. We need to grapple up. Actually, whoa, watch out for the lizards. I'm not even going to bother killing them. But what we actually want to do is come back over to the hut. Yes, we do. And we want to grapple up. Now, it's going to be an area we can grapple to. So just walk to this side of the hut. And it's right over there. So we need to jump and grapple. So let's jump. Let's grapple. Now, honestly, let's go invisible. There are some enemies over here, so keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and hop down here. There's an enemy on that roof there, so we can try to sneak up behind this enemy. Let's see? Nope, didn't work. All right, well, let's just rush it and attack it. Okay. Right. Die already, please. There we go. The rest of the enemies in this area are going to be dogs, so just watch out for them. We can go ahead and just hop down though. I think there's a dog right down there. So let's just hop down, walk up to the doggy, take him out. Now there's another dog right here. Let's rush him, take him out. And we can go ahead and grapple up. Watch out, doggy, take him out. Now we can run over here. Make sure to jump there. You don't want to accidentally fall. Take out this dog, pick up the item here. And I believe there is another item down here somewhere let me actually come over here first because i'm not exactly sure i know that there's a couple items in this area okay where is this thing it might be at the very bottom let me just hop on down actually is it all the way down i'm not sure actually it's right here what am i talking about <laughs> all right well there it is that's the item we're looking for. There is an idol over here, and there is another item we can get, and there's an enemy. So let's actually go and do that real quick. I don't think you need to go invisible here. You might potentially want to, but let's see. Actually, I'm not going to bother. Yeah, you can easily sneak up behind this guy. There you go. Take him out, and now we can get this item. I'm pretty sure that's it for the items. I could be wrong, so I don't know, but I think I got everything. But now, we can actually go and talk to this guy. This is her father, basically. He's freaking a monster now. And he's going to tell you about ringing the bell. And if you ring the bell, you can get the attention of the great carp. Now, if you have the precious bait, you should use this first. This is going to give you some of the treasure carp scales. So, let's just use that. Now, if you feed him more than twice, he kind of gets mad at you. Not the carp, but the uh, master guy. The daddy monster daddy he'll get mad at you because he's gonna say that you're making the carp fat or something i don't know but by feeding him twice you can actually go and talk to this guy and he's gonna give you the scales for doing that so let's see all right we got some there we got some there and you're gonna get a total of four i don't think if you feed him more you're gonna get any more pretty sure two is all you need and now at this point you can feed them the truly precious bait, but I don't recommend doing that because we want to make sure we buy the rest of the stuff, okay? So leave that alone, all right? We'll come back for that, but let's actually use the idol now, and we're going to actually go somewhere to get some more of the scales, just in case you need them. And where we're going to go is we're going to go back here, and we will travel to... Honestly, let's just go to where we fought the corrupt monk. So I'm going to cut this ahead. I'm going to see you guys in a moment. Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and go back. Now, where we're going is back to that one house. If you remember, there's that NPC in there. We could talk to him, and now we can give him that water from the palace that we got. I'm going to take this guy out real quick. I might actually just mortal draw these guys too. Why not? Boom. Take some of them out. And now we can just collect the stuff, and let's move on. All right, get underneath the house, and now we can go ahead and find the shinobi door again, and use it. 
and get into the house. Now let's go and talk to this guy. And we can now give him the thing. I've never talked to him before. So this is my first time. Now let's talk to him and try to give him the water. I'm gonna have to talk to him, I guess, a bunch of time. There we go. Give him the water. And now he's going to give us some sake for that. Remember, the sake is really just used for lore. You can give it to people. And now I'm gonna actually probably use my idol. We need to reset the area and come back. Alrighty, now let's go ahead and head back to the guy. And once this area pretty much like resets, we should be able to now fight him and we can get our treasure carp scales from this. So let's go ahead and get underneath the house again and we can use the shinobi door. There we go. And just get ready to murder this dude, okay? He's going to be hostile, but you know, it's really whatever, it's just one of those. Pick up the loot and there you go. You get five treasure carp scales for doing that. So now, I'm gonna actually just run back to the idol because there's somewhere I need to go that I kind of completely forgot about. I've been, I guess, putting this off, but we should actually go and get this done now because I haven't actually done it. And that is, we should actually go and talk to the one girl, the Divine Child, and actually do that because I have never actually given her the serpent stuff that she wanted because I just kind of forgot about it. So. Oops, I didn't mean to rest, but we are going to now travel to the Inner Sanctum, and we will go and talk to her. Okay, so, let's go and talk to her. Now, you know, the whole thing here is I'm pretty much setting this up so that you guys can choose whichever ending you want at the end, and yeah, that's the main goal here. I'm going to talk to her again, just in case, and I believe you do need to rest here, and the doors are going to close... And you can eavesdrop on her. I do also believe that you're going to have to leave this area and then come back. So that is something as well. So we will come back here later. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and return to Fountainhead. Let me rest again just to see. I don't think that's going to... Oh, it did! It opened the door. Great. All right. Now we can go and talk to her. and She'll give us... I think this is the Frozen Tears. Let's see what this is. Come on. Give me this stuff. And I do believe you can get rice from her still once you do this. So that's cool. All right, yes, yeah, Frozen Tears. Now this is the ending I'm going to choose because I want to actually get the trophy for that. I haven't got it yet. But now let's go ahead and make our way back to Fountainhead. And we are going to go to the pot because we can actually buy the rest of the stuff now. Alrighty, guys. Well, I am back. I went ahead and already bought the stuff from this guy and then I realized I had some extra treasure carp so I said screw it I'm gonna go back and actually buy all the rest of the stuff from the other pot noble so now I've bought everything pretty much and when I went back to the estate there was actually another treasure carp that I didn't get before and that was actually right next to the pot noble I don't know how I missed that but there was another one in that water and it wasn't even underneath the water it was actually on the surface of the water it's just one i must have missed from before but now that we've got everything we can go ahead and just kill the giant carp so that's what we're going to do now and also i forgot about this item over here i didn't actually grab it before i pointed it out but we do need to go and get that so to get that we can actually just grapple over here and you don't have to kill these guys you can if you like just grapple up top here and now just jump up and we can grapple and we can go ahead and grab this item now. So, hopefully I got most, if not all, of the items in this area. But you never know. It's a big area. Wow! Leave me alone, bro. Alright, so we're going to make our way back up here. That way we can get to the giant carp area. Honestly, I should have just went ahead and teleported. You know what I'll do? I will actually uh, warp there, but... Wait a minute. Is that girl still in here? Yeah, she is. But what I'm going to do is I am going to actually get the next idol and then I'll warp from there because we do want to get this idol if possible. So let's go ahead and grapple all the way up top. Now, I personally recommend for this part, you might just want to run for it because honestly, this part is kind of annoying. So just keep that in mind. There's going to be some guys over here, but they shouldn't see us if we're invisible. We can just kind of run on over this way. 
And now they see us, of course. But let's get to the idol quick. Oh, I'm getting stuck on stuff. And let's try to rest at it so that they will disappear. There we go. Yeah, I just... I don't see the point of fighting those guys. You don't really have to. Just get to the idol. And I think there might be items in this area where you can grab. But this is right before the boss. So keep that in mind. Do not pray up here. Okay, let me look around real quick and try to find these items. I believe there is at least one. There it is. Let's pick that up. All right. I think that might be it. But I could be wrong. I think there's another enemy over here somewhere. Yeah, he's like down here. But, you know... I don't think there's anything else to grab, so... Oh, crap. I'm in trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. Let's get back to the idol. Oh, I'm about to get hit by lightning. There we go, though. Yeah, so I think that's the only item, actually, in the area. But now, let's go ahead and head back to that girl's father. And that's the feeding grounds. And we can go and kill the giant carp now. Alrighty, well let's go ahead and use this, and we can now feed him the truly precious bait. I don't know if it matters which one you choose here. I'm gonna go with the top one, because I think I have always went with the bottom one. So let's give him this one, and let's see what happens. I think it's gonna be the same outcome, probably doesn't matter. But now he is going to go and die, so let's go ahead and get to the idol. And now we can go ahead and warp over to where we fought the guardian ape. We need to go to the watering hole. And this is where you're going to find him. Don't ask me how he gets here. I have no idea. But you'll see in a moment. Alrighty. Well, yep, he's dead. I don't think it matters which one of the baits you give him. So let's go ahead and pick this up. And now with this item... You're going to actually get the trophy for killing them. That's the main reason why you want to do it. And then after that, you can now go and give that item to the guy. So, that's what we're going to go and do now. I know, it's a lot in back and forth, but what are you going to do, guys? So, we're going to go back to the feeding ground, and we can give this item to this dude. Alrighty. So, he's going to be looking for the carp, like, where did he go? I don't know what happened. Go ahead and give him the item, and he's going to reward us. So, he's going to give us a Divine Grass. It's nothing too important, but the main reason why you want to do that is to get the trophy. So, that's your purpose. Now it's time to go and fight the boss. So, I think I've done almost everything here. We need to go to the final idol, and then there's going to be a place that we can pray, and there's going to be a cutscene, but then we can go and fight the boss of this area. Alrighty, well we need to run up here to get the cutscene so we can fight this boss. Now normally I always explain the boss before I fight it, but with this one I'm not going to. This boss is really cool, but it's really easy. Now you can die, but if you're gonna die, you're probably gonna die at the very end. But if you have your res, you should be fine. This is a very easy fight. If you do what I do, you will wreck this boss, no problem. Now to start this fight, let's go ahead and use some Mortal Draw here. And when they spawn, we can do it again. Just try to get some groups here. And just take them out with Mortal Draw. Now at this point, we should wait. We're waiting for some branches to pop up. So just run around to avoid the branches. They can hit you. Jump on the top using the grapple. Lock on to a group and jump off. Do a jumping death blow and boom! Just wipe out almost all of them. Pretty freaking epic, that's for sure. All right, now we're waiting for another group to spawn. Being on the ground will make them spawn. We can try to jump up top and get another one going here. There we go. Wipe out a couple more. And let's see if we can do it again, but the branch is gonna go away. And it did. Now we can wait for a branch to respawn. You might be able to do some mortal draw again, but it doesn't matter. Here comes the branches. Let's go ahead and get up top again. Try to find a group of these guys, jump off, and boom! And that's going to be stage one of this fight. And now it's time to get epic. So, now it's time to fight the dragon! He's going to blow us away to start, but at this part, he's only going to have two attacks, really. He's going to have a horizontal attack, which you can jump over. When he does that, he'll do it twice. 
He's gonna have a vertical attack, which as long as you're moving left or right, he won't hit you. He will do that three times, so it's definitely safest to let him do it three times. And then we need to grapple up where there's lightning. And then once we get the lightning, lock onto the boss and shoot it, and you'll hit him every single time. Very easy. So here's the vertical attack. We're gonna head towards the lightning. After the third one, we can go and get the lightning. So let's grab it. All right, lock on. Hit him with the lightning. There you go. Now you can watch him to see what he's doing, vertical or horizontal, it's going to be vertical again. Let's try to run towards the lightning, I think it's behind us, it is. So avoid those attacks, grapple to the lightning, lock on and smack him. We're going to have to do that a couple more times here. So once again, just avoid him, move. We're waiting for the lightning to show up, I'm trying to figure out where is it going to be. I think it's over this way. So let's watch him here. Oh, he's going to blow us away. He will do that throughout the fight. Okay, that's fine though. So, let's see. It's going to be vertical attacks, so just keep moving. We should be able to actually make it. Alright, there we go. Let's grapple. Lock on. Hit him with the lightning. Now we're just going to chill. Let him do an attack here. Here comes a horizontal one, so jump. And jump again. Get to the lightning here, and grab it, and shoot it, and now it's time to get crazy. He is going to spam attacks here, and at the very end, he is going to go really ham. And in fact, the final attack, his opener, is actually really hard to avoid. So if you get hit by that, he's going to do a lot of damage to you. But if you have a lot of health, you should survive it, to be quite honest. And if you do die, you can always just res, and you can finish the fight at that point. So, here he goes, he's gonna blow us back, and he's gonna start with some pretty easy attacks to avoid, just pretty much move to like the left and right here, alright, and he should be able to avoid them, then he's gonna start doing some horizontal attacks probably, yep, here they come, go ahead and avoid those, now it should be some vertical attacks, yes it is, he's gonna do like maybe four, alright, there's the fourth one, watch him, all right, just keep moving. And here it comes. This is the big one. This is where it's hard to avoid it. The problem is you have to keep jumping and moving, and it's just difficult. But there you go. You can heal up now, and the lightning should be coming. I think there it is. Let's go ahead and grab it. All right, you're going to go all the way up top. Lock on. All right, and smack them. And that's GG. And at this point, all you have to do is actually just walk up the sword. And once you get up to the top of the sword, finish him off. Very easy fight. Like I said, the very end is really hard to avoid because you have to have your timing almost perfect for like jumping and then jumping again. So you might get hit there like I did. But as long as you're not getting hit like crazy, you'll survive it and you'll be good. Alrighty, well we are back, and we're going to get the memory, we're also going to get the dragon's tears, but there's no boy, and Emma's over here, and oh my god, that guy is dead, crazy man, but we're going to save all of that for the next episode, so that should be a lot of fun, we're getting close to the end here, I'm not sure if there's going to be one more episode, or two more episodes, I might save the final boss for his own episode, so we'll see about that, I'm not sure yet, but that is going to do it for this video, so I definitely hope that you have enjoyed it, and that this has helped, if it has, will you please like the video for me, be sure to subscribe for future videos, and I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day, and peace!